U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton finally touching down in India late last night. Several things on her agenda, but most importantly, though, Hillary Clinton will be hoping to start a fresh dialogue on non-proliferation and security issues as the U.S. renews its focus on nuclear disarmament. The dialogue, which will be announced during Hillary Clinton's visit, will feature the U.S. Under Secretary for Non-Proliferation as well. The U.S. under the Obama administration is likely to use the forum to ask India to take more steps on the comprehensive test ban treaty. India has already indicated that it would be more agreeable to linking the CTBT with disarmament. And for more on the story, Shunjoy Chaudhary, our senior news editor, now joining us live from outside the Taj Hotel. Remember, Hillary Clinton is staying at that hotel, a symbolic gesture there from the U.S. Secretary of State. Uh, Shunjoy, clearly here, a jam-packed itinerary for Hillary Clinton today in Mumbai. Absolutely. <clears throat> but the important thing is where she is staying. And there could be no better message than where she is staying than the fact that this is where the 2611 incident really happened. And this is a stern message to the rest of the world, particularly the neighborhood, saying that, look, we are with the victims of 2611. We are with, uh, with, with the Indian people who has suffered uh, the attack on 2611. That is the main message that comes from Hillary Clinton, the U.S. Secretary of State, staying at the Taj. There are several things on her agenda. Right immediately, uh, in a few minutes, she meets uh, top business leaders. And then, of course, there are a variety of functions which will culminate with her meeting the External Affairs Minister S.M. Krishna, the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, L.K. Advani, leader of the opposition, Congress President Sonia Gandhi. And there are a number of issues on the agenda. It's not just non-proliferation. Terrorism would be a very important aspect to be discussed. Also to be discussed is the AFPAC situation because America and India are both worried about the deteriorating situation in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Also, as you rightly said, yes, non-proliferation will be on the cards. Economic issues will be on the cards. So will military issues, issues that relate to nuclear energy, because the civil nuclear deal has been done several months ago, and nothing much has happened after that. There will also be discussions on economic issues, agriculture, and space. So clearly, Mrs. Clinton will have a lot to do in these four days that she's here. Raj Shunjoy, and tell us a little bit more about that breakfast meeting that she's having with uh, top corporate honchos, including Ratan Tata, we believe, also going to be discussing social, corporate social responsibility as well. Yes, absolutely. It's a very important meeting and significantly the first meeting. You have to see that this is a very unusual visit by a Secretary of the State of the United States. It does not begin with a meeting with the External Affairs Minister or even the Prime Minister. It begins with, of all things, a meeting with industrialists, which is perhaps a way of showing how much India has changed, that India is a strong economic power. And of course, the meeting will be held at, th at the Taj, where the 2611 incident did take place. So these are all very pointed messages that is coming from America, that yes, we stand by you in terms of 2611, we support you on what you've done on terrorism, and we recognize the fact that India is a growing economic power, that India is one country that is growing when the rest of the world is in recession, and India is the country that America will reach out to. So these are all very important messages that come, is coming out. The meeting, Absolutely. the breakfast meeting is at 8.15, and after the meeting, Mrs. Clinton will begin a series of incidents that will include meeting the survivors of 2611 which will be before lunch today. So she has a very packed schedule today, and then she leaves for Delhi uh, sometime tomorrow. And like Shunchoa said, uh, lots of symbolism here from where she's staying and also from where she's decided to kick off her five-day trip in India.